Hi everyone, today I am going to be working on something different. I've been using this cabinet forever for all of our spices. And every time that we would pull one out, things would fall. And it's just getting kind of a little crazy and a little obnoxious. So I'm thinking that if I clean this all out, like we have our bread, we always have our snacks here, and then we have like, you know, our jello and different things on the top shelf. So I'm just wondering if I were to take all of this out or like the snack one and put it there instead so that I can put all my spices and stuff up there. This might be a trial and error kind of thing and see because we've had it in this cabinet right oh, right there forever and it's nice because it's right next to the stove. It's just that it's really tiny. But we also have this other cabinet that we put all like baking and waffle stuff and you know like our peanut butter and syrup and our sugars and our cakes and different things go over here so we i don't really have room over there and then the cabinets up here are like our noodles macaroni and stuff like that so having it here is so convenient unless you guys have a better idea for me tell me but i'm thinking that i'm just gonna put all the snacks over here which none of them kind of thinking might be bad because of the stove is going to be right there and it's going to be hot. And if we have chocolate in there and stuff like that, that might melt. Aww. So I'm so undecided on what I should do. Uh, I didn't even think of that really until just now to see if that would work or not. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Cause our stove is right here. Don't mind our stove. We um, had egg rolls and stuff for Gage's birthday. So we just didn't get cleaned up from that yet. So um, the stove is right there. And if I put the snacks in there, that might be bad. And we don't really have, that is like where we put our cereal. And then our other cabinet right there, that's like our um, cups, plates, and then um, measuring cups and stuff are over there. And that's too far away from the stove for us to put our spices. And we don't have a cabinet over there. I don't know what to do. Um, I know a lot of people do them like on their door, but we have stuff like so close right here that we wouldn't even be able to close our door. In here, we would be able to, we would be able to do that. Um, but I'm gonna turn around. I don't know if our cabinets. I'm thinking because our baskets are too like too long so they wouldn't fit here but if they were tiny and I shut the door that would give us you know some room that would probably I know help out I'm just trying to think so when I put these in here, I would just have like little containers like this and then we would just pull them out. But sometimes we would have these containers like this. And then when I would put in another one of these trays, it wouldn't fit. I mean, it fits, but we're always kind of like pulling things out and things are falling all the time. Um, and we've also tried it where we just kind of put them all in there and then we had to kind of like move everything around to find them. So that didn't work either. If I had maybe some more like shelving in there, like 
you know, uh, height wise, if we put some more shelving in there, then the spice rack would work. And I know like the dollar store and Walmart always has some kind of like organizing thing and see if I can find something um, that will be kind of easy to do that I could, you know, kind of do myself. I am not quite sure what to think yet. So we'll see what I, what I come up with. I think I'm going to do, I'm bring you guys a little closer. And I'm going to bring you guys up a little bit. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is use what I have. Everyone's going to be really loud right now, but okay. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to order, organize some of this and then maybe combine some of the spices because we have so many and put them in the same spice. Um, like container. I wish I had like like the regular size ones that you know you would just kind of change them out or whatever. But I think we're just gonna go like do with what we have right now because I didn't really like plan for this right now. So um, what I did is I have like some of these you know beef cubes and stuff like that that I kind of just combined into a different one. And then I have all like sprinkles and stuff, and we don't use them on a regular basis. We have, you know, like food coloring and stuff that we don't use on a regular basis. Cupcakes, um, some more food coloring. And I think, oh, we got a lot of food coloring. I think what I'm gonna do is just put them in a baggie. Here. What is that? They're just little cupcake liners that she's gonna play with. You can't go here. What? No. Okay. No. Smart food coloring, some vanilla, vanilla bean. Um, trying to see what else we got. Birthday candles. And then I have like some sandwich stuff. Sandwich little toothpick cute little things that you put on your kids' sandwiches. So I, bet, I think that's just gonna go up on the top shelf. Okay, so when I pulled that down, I found some more, uh, some more food coloring. So I'll put that in the bag. And then I have a bunch of sprinkles and these and some candle holder things and some more sprinkles and I really don't need them to be on the shelf where we put our spices. Some almond extract. So this stuff we don't use on a regular basis. could probably just put it in a bag. Um, vanilla. Um, and I'm thinking if I can clear up some of this, then I'm able to put all the small ones in there and that'll work a little bit better. Um, so, like this spice I probably won't use, so I'm just gonna take that out all together and just not use that one anymore. So that's what I think I'm gonna go do too, is some of these I probably won't even be using. Um, so maybe I'll put all the small ones in this little, in this little holder. I think I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So. I think I'm just gonna put all those small ones in here. Um, let's see. So with me clearing out most of the sprinkles, like we have some more, that'll just go up there. And that'll just clear up some more um, containers. And let's see what I got here. So I only have a, a little bit of small ones in here. So, 
I'm thinking I can put like um add some bay leaves I can maybe put in there. I think maybe if I put like all the glass ones together. One here that I could maybe use for something. I got another sprinkle one that can go up there. Another one. I think that's going to clear up most of our space is by doing that. So up there, I put all the sprinkles up there. So I'm done with that. So I'm going to just bring you guys just a little bit closer. And what I was saying is, I'll put all the glass ones in here. Or what I can do, see what I need, oh, maybe that'll work. So I'm thinking if I just do a couple in here, that'll work. And then just pile some of these big ones, ones that are pretty equal in here see if that's going to work better. There's a glass one. There's another glass one. So that I think will just go like right there. I think what I should have did is did what I would use the most. So this is almost halfway empty so I think I'm just going to combine it because that will take up you know that room too. So I'm gonna have all these empty containers that I just won't be using. I know I could be doing maybe like a craft thing with the kids, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I have so much stuff that I already save anyways for that, so I'm not gonna do that. But I think I got some more babies. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can put these together. Hey! I think that's what I'm going to do is just... Up that. Come on, throw that away. I think if I can, I don't mind if they're all in here and then there's some on the bottom, that's okay. But it was like we would take something out and everything would just fall out on top. So I'm thinking if we just do that, so now I have another sprinkle. And later, sometime, I can get like a container. I'll show you. I can get a container for up there and put them all in but right now i think i'm just gonna do that like i can just go get another one of these um let's see if i can fit in here so i got another one okay so i have some already cleared up but i can use some of that for putting some in if i want to use them instead of the bigger ones You don't want to be in my video? Okay, so I'm going to put this up and see. I think if maybe I just keep this one down on the bottom shelf, I'm able to sneak one of these little ones in here and I can, I can show you. See how I'm able to sneak this little one in here? And then possibly stick it in inside. But I think I have enough room up here, if I can show you. I think I have enough room up here. Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm bringing you guys like all over the place here. Okay, so I could do that or I could use one of these 
and put them all in. But I think it's easier if I just take like a little rack. This kind of got a little tippy, but that's all I have for me being able to put spices in. And then I have these bigger ones too. Or I think maybe that'll work better. If I just put the big ones right here, that works out perfect. Do you see that they're just like kind of snuck in the side here? Okay, so I have like these bigger containers. So I have like uh, six different ones that I don't have room for. Perfect, and I'm able to sneak these right down the middle. But the problem with that is if I pull this out, hopefully, then we're gonna probably end up coming out. that one up there uh, but this one so I decided to use this one instead of the individual one I'm gonna stick that there I have one individual one I'm gonna slide in right there and then I still have these three that Okay, so I decided to put this one down here and this one has all of them in there. And then these are all the glass ones so that when we pull them out, we know that we're not gonna be all pulling all glass on top. I have this big one that will just set right there for now. And then we just have a couple back here, but that's like our bigger ones. And then I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal or I can put that in there. I know it's just kind of thrown in there, but we have very little options with that. Um, I just noticed that we're missing a little peg that keeps our shelf up. So I need to find something to put in there. But um, all we have to do for this is just pull this out and then we can um, find what we're looking for that way so that is a little bit better and then all the like birthday stuff is up there and that works out so much better um, and i ended up with a couple different containers so i could use some of the, oh, some of these need to be cleaned but i could use these for the sprinkles up on top and have that um organized up there so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I decided not to put the sprinkles in them white containers. I tried it out and they didn't fit because I have other stuff back there. So don't, or, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Okay, so I decided not to do that. Um, and everything else I think is okay for now. And maybe eventually I'll get some of the, the door ones and I'll just put on the door like them little white ones right here, but just get them a little bit smaller in size. They were just too long for our door. But I think I could do that and put them up a little higher here so that it would go like right here versus, you know, pushing this in because then it wouldn't fit. But right above these, you know, if they were like the smaller ones that were in here, then I think that would work because I just feel that if I would have put like all the snacks and stuff in there, it would have got it would have got too overheated and then we would have had like things melting and stuff so i think that was like a really bad idea let me know if you guys like these kind of videos because i can do more um organizing things i do have other videos coming up i don't know if this one's gonna be first or evelyn's bedroom's gonna be first um so that is what i organized and then i think it was like Last year before homeschool started, I organized 
where we put all our homeschool books. Um, and I'll try to link that up above so you guys can check out that video, how I organize that. But then um, when school starts, we'll probably have to do some more organizing. I kind of got Nash and Lachlan stuff in the place that I want them to be. But Nash and Lachlan are gonna have more schoolwork this year or this following year. So I might have to organize their drawers a little bit more. But if you guys want me to do more organizing stuff, I can do that too. Um, but just like give me a thumbs up if you guys like these kind of videos because that lets me know that you guys want me to do more of that um don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on me doing some more organizing stuff i probably won't do a lot but if you guys have any suggestions on some of the stuff that i you know maybe could organize i did do a laundry one on how we do our laundry um that could use some improvement too but other than that, guys, hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to, like I said, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.